All right, guys, so it's day two of working on this S2000. Um, I took back out the coil packs, the spark plugs, because we're gonna do a compression test on the car to make sure that each cylinder has the equal amount of compression in each one. I know I just said that weird, but you guys get where I'm going with this. So right now I'm at MP shop, just waiting for him to bring out the tester so that way we can know for sure that this is that good. So let's find out on today's episode of Phil got to get rid of this car or not. <laughs> All right, so you guys see here, compression in cylinder one is over 250. All right, so that's pretty good. So it's gonna go to the next one, and you know I'm saying we're gonna just do it all over again. I didn't know a compression test was that easy. Yeah. I thought you had to do like some type of liquid shit or something. No, I don't know. That's the leak down. The leak okay. Down so same thing. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna hold the clutch, hold the gas down, and crank. Same thing in cylinder two. So that's giving me hope. It's giving me a lot of hope. Come on, baby, don't do me like this, please. All right, so the motor is pretty strong. I'm happy about that. It was 260 all across. I think one was maybe a little bit higher, um, just a tad bit over. So MP was saying the motor strong is good. All the cylinders is good. Um, the valve adjustment was good. Um, so. I'm, like I said, I'm gonna take the car for a drive a little bit later. Um, right now, I think we're probably gonna head out and go get some uh, Chipotle or something and see if we could like, you know, just chill for a little bit. But I'm just excited that the car's motor is pretty strong and that, you know, I don't have to like replace anything or do anything of that nature. So if the check engine light is still popping on, then that means this must be something electrical with the car. So I'm hoping it doesn't happen again. Cause like I said, this was like something random um yesterday when i was here we tightened the uh spark plugs because i when i tightened it i only kind of like hand tightened it i didn't really like give it that extra strength push so when mp did it um he tightened it a little bit more like i didn't want to you know mess it up or strip it or you know when you tighten it too much and the shit get loose yeah i didn't want that to happen um so he tightened it a little bit more when i took it for a drive yesterday it was fine but just wanted a peace of mind today so i was like yo let's just do the compression test and see what happens been a minute since we driven in one of these last time I was in one well and the GTR period was uh in California with Mark and I was driving his GTR I haven't been in MP's Nismo since then too yeah man I need one of these bro something's got to give for me man it doesn't have to be a Nismo but just get me a GTR man all right so I'm gonna need y'all to like really start watching my videos because how I'm gonna obtain this man I'm gonna have to save and save and save you know what I'm gonna just sell everything that's what I'll do right just sell everything and go get one of these I don't know why bro but this is just the car that I want like so bad this or an Ari those are my two favorite cars right now you don't really see too much McLaren content out there I mean don't get me wrong I love Lambos but I just feel like both my boys have it and it's like if I was able to get one I think I would just get a McLaren I don't know or an RE I love an RE that was like one of my first dream cars was an RE but uh yeah man GTR R8 McLaren NSX old school and new school I'm on an old school Supra and a new school Supra bro I gotta I don't know man I gotta do something bro I gotta do something I know y'all y'all catch my pain bro you just I gotta I don't know I gotta do something bro Gotta get them cars. I got to. Finally was able to take the S2K out. Just met up with a couple of the homies at a car wash. Sheesh. 
Got the Mugens on here. Saying right hand drive. Rocaro seats. I believe this is a Ferio, if I'm not mistaken. Oh yeah, see? That shit is nice. Ooh. Nice. It's clean. Type R over there. Yeah, I know. We got the lemon squeeze over here. Big drop body over here. made it home drove home smooth um, the light was still flashing so I'm starting to feel like it's something electrical and not um, you know motor related because the car drove the same way it's not until I got closer to home because um, where I was at was basically an hour away and um, it drove back no problem no hesitations no no lagging no nothing I went to uh, check for the check engine light nothing popped up it said no codes so I don't know something is probably triggering the light to pop on or something so I'll figure all that stuff out probably at a later date um, but for right now I'm gonna take it in what is up you guys so it's the next day and your boys working on the interior of the car um, so what I'm doing today actually is I'm just gonna be checking all the harness wires to make sure all the wires are good nothing looks burnt out nothing looks corroded or anything like that and then from there uh, we could work our way so I'm gonna pull the back of this cluster because I just want to see if there's anything behind it and then uh, like I said just work my way from there and see um so yeah that's pretty much what I have going on for today it's the weekend you know what I'm saying it's Friday but uh yeah I just want to make sure that this car is good you know like I'm trying to check all the wires then the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, go down there and check the ECU. So I'm probably gonna unplug the ECU and just make sure, you know, nothing is like out of place. All right, so your boy pulled out the dash. I was kind of worried about doing it, but I actually was able to do it. It wasn't too hard. Couple bolts, one, two here, two there, one on the side over there, and they were all 10 mil bolts. Um, so I'm just checking all the wiring behind here to make sure like all the grounds and nothing is like burnt out or anything like that. Um, so I did find that this here wasn't like plugged properly. I don't really know how this is supposed to be set up or wired, but, um, this was just all loosey goosey. Here is the, uh, climate control flap actuator or something like that. So if you guys remember maybe a couple of vlogs ago, I kept saying that when I turned the knob for the AC to come on, the, the little plug here or the switch here, control valve, heater, whatever the hell it's called, wasn't moving that wire back and forth. So what honestly opted me to really want to check under this dash is because I wanted to make sure that this wire here, as you guys see, it's like this wire here was connected to that control valve up in the front. And it is. So, okay, I know that is good. Um, but when I went to go look, I seen that this wasn't attached to anything. It was just like kind of sitting weird. Um, so I don't really know what these two connect to, but I'm trying to figure that out now. Okay, so I had tested out the, uh, this actuator here on the plug before bringing it to the junkyard to see if I could get another one. But this didn't actually move. This didn't maneuver either, so I'm pretty sure this is no good. Um, so, yeah, your boy's at the junkyard right now. On my way to uh, go pick up the uh, next one. Hopefully they got it. Ah. I guess because they're a little bit cooler with me they allow me to like come back here and snatch things off but um this no it's on this one it's right here the piece that I'm looking for is this right here see it's a whole crashed up s2000 right here but um yeah I'm gonna snatch these pieces off try to keep the screws too because I need that
Okay, so we actually got, it came up a little bit. So you guys see it here, look. See it moving? Before it wasn't moving. Lit. Oh my god, we finally have the AC working now. Controls work, everything's working. Oh, this is such a great feeling. I feel the nice cold air coming out. It's all raining and stuff, but um, dash everything's back together, as you guys can see. I put the alternator, all that stuff back together, put the battery back, airbag is back in. So we should be good, man. I'm excited for this. We actually have a dope cars and coffee um, that's gonna be coming up on Sunday, so stay tuned for that. Um, I wanted to wash the car today, but like I said, it's raining, so that kind of sucks. Honestly, wasn't too terrible taking the dash off. Um, I didn't fully pull it out, um, just for the simple fact that like it had like wires going all the way across, and I didn't really need to do all of that. But um, now that I know I can take the dash off, I'm not too nervous about doing it anymore. But um, yeah, man, everything's back to normal. Feels the thing is still kind of like pulsating a little bit, like the idle when it's like sitting. But um. I think that's something to do with the LD um, MP was telling me. Like something might be shortened somewhere, but like when I looked underneath the dash, I didn't see anything. So I don't know, man. It doesn't look like any wires are out of place or any wires look burnt out or any pinholes look, you know, corroded or anything. But uh, we'll see. Um, once I continuously still drive the car and figure out if there's anything else going on with it, then I'll know for sure. So you made it to the end of the video. I feel like I didn't put these pieces in there and I feel like I didn't explain it. So, um, when I'm driving the car, right, the check engine light is flashing, but it's not flashing like, um, like a misfire flash. It's just like flickers on and off, on and off, on and off. And then when, let's just say I let off the gas and I'm sitting at a light, the check engine light will go away. Like nothing ever happened. Then the EPS light was flashing um, maybe like three or four times and then it'll stop so it made me wonder like okay maybe my alternator is bad but um, we checked the voltage on the alternator and everything was good um, so I'm not 100% sure as to what's going on or what's making it happen or make it do that so if you guys ever had any of those issues where the check engine light was like flashing like rapidly um, I could actually put one of the clips in here so you can see But the check engine light is just flashing, 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 flashing. And then when you put the, the scanner to it, it reads as if it has no codes. So I know it's not misfiring because if it was misfiring, then it obviously would be a lack of power. Like I'm able to hit VTEC. I was able to do everything that I was doing normally. It's just the check engine light would flash. Um, so like I said, you guys let me know. I'm going to put a clip of it right here so you guys can see and you let me know. So pretty much with that, um, that'll be the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a thumbs up for your boy so we could get a GTR next week. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh, baby.